I wanted to watch this clip because this came across my radar the other day, and it is so milk toast and banal. And the fact that Tucker Carlson decided to talk about this is just he. It must have been a slow news day. We'll put it that way. So he's gonna talk about libs of TikToks, Chaya Rychik or Kaya Rychik or however you pronounce her name, and um. She's going to pretend as if she's doing something really bold, but really this is nothing more than cringe. So one of the saddest and most painful lies they keep telling you is you're imagining it if you think children are being physically mutilated in the name of gender ideology. Yet you literally are imagining it. This is gaslighting right here. Unless you're taking into account all of the circumcisions that take place or the ways in which, you know, doctors make decisions about the genitalia of intersex infants then that's a serious thing that we should consider. But in terms of like whether or not kids are getting their dicks chopped off, then yes, you are imagining that. You are stupid and you need to actually find real problems to be concerned about. It's actually real. We wish it weren't. We wish we were imagining it. Hospitals brag about these surgeries. And we know this really- Do they though? Do they, Tucker? And by the way, this is not Chaya Rychik. This is AOC, who is next to the Libs of TikTok logo. <laughs> Is the founder of a Twitter handle called Libs of TikTok, Haya Rachik. She's reported on it extensively. Of course, this has infuriated people who are dedicated to lying, like Sandy Cortez. You're a liar, she said. Um, and she called Haya Rachik that directly. So Rachik decided to go pay Sandy Cortez a visit. Here's how it went. A few weeks ago, AOC lied about me on the House floor. Ms. Navaroli, are you familiar with the account Libs of TikTok? That account posted false information about Boston Children's Hospital, claiming that they were providing hysterectomies to children. So I am right outside the Cannon Building. Yeah, that that is false. That is not happening. So what's the problem here? What's the problem? And... She should have remained anonymous, honestly, because she has no charisma. Like, I get how she's trying to transition her grift into a stage where maybe she gets, like, I don't know, some sort of media gig from Fox News or News Nation or not News Nation, but maybe, like, I don't know, OAN. Um, but she just – she sucks. Like, she's she's so banal. And she is wearing a shirt that says ban TikTok, so – why do you support censorship? I thought that your side was uh, against censorship. Yeah, we know that's that's bullshit, but let's listen. I'm going to go inside and hopefully meet AOC and ask her why she lied about me and get some answers. She didn't lie about you, you absolute buffoon. She literally is just saying that you claimed Boston's Children's Hospital was performing hysterectomies on children when that's not happening, literally what you lied about led to bomb threats against Boston Children's Hospital. So don't feign outrage over somebody just like spotlighting what you said, you fucking ghoul. Like she's such a liar. I mean, she lies for a living, right? She has catapulted herself into national prominence because of her stupid ass lies about LGBTQ plus people. So I'm not surprised that she's lying here. But uh, watch this because this is this is extremely lame. Protect policy in? No. Okay. Yeah, so basically, she lied about me on the House floor a couple recording? weeks ago. So I just wanted to ask her why she lied. Okay. <laughs> this lady is smart. She knows this is a publicity stunt by this absolute moron. And when you see them trying to get a viral clip, then you just ignore them and you move on. Um, unfortunately for Chaya Rychik, this did not go viral. Nobody knows about this because that's how insignificant and inconsequential this visit was. But uh, she's going to make a claim about AOC that's so cringeworthy. She's going to say that AOC uh, is a coward because AOC didn't talk to her. Shia, she wasn't there. <laughs> like you, you showed up and she wasn't there. So why is she a coward if she didn't know you were coming to her office? Me? Okay, give me one second. Okay. Yeah. to talk to her we don't i don't know if, she, if she's in or not but i think that that door slam was really telling so i don't think they want to talk to us dear aoc please don't 
lie about American citizens. Love, Chaya. <laughs> What's so funny is that Sandy Cortez would not exist as a public figure were it not for social media. She literally filmed herself applying makeup. Why does he keep calling her Sandy Cortez? There's something very creepy about that. It gives me very weird vibes. Sandy Cortez. Like, should we call him Tucky? Dick Tuck? Like, well, <laughs> why are you calling her Sandy Cortez randomly? Like, you sent. It's like one of those creepy old men hitting on younger women. They're like, hey, Sandy. Like, that's, that's the vibes that I get from this. Maybe I'm alone, but um, it's stupid. Don't do it. Tucky. Her staff seems shocked that maybe this is on video. Hi, Rychik is the founder of Libs of TikTok, and the woman you just saw in that video, she joins us now. Hi, thank you so much for coming on. I, I mean, Well, I'm glad to be here, Dick Tuck. I got to bust out the uh, Tucker Carlson graphic. I have it. We'll, we'll do that after this. Do you think that she would own up to the provable lie she told about you. I mean, she the claimed- The provable so lie? Motherfucker, you are so brazen. You inspired bomb threats against Boston Children's Hospital. And it was based on claims that you made. You made it seem as if children were being mutilated and now you're mad that one lawmaker called you out for it? Like, get over yourself. It happened that you proved on video did happen. How, did you think she would admit that? AOC claimed that I lied about Boston Children's Hospital. She claimed that I you inspired did. a bomb threat. And you I did. absolutely had no expectations for her to own up to it. I went to her office and I was ready to sit down with her and get to the bottom of this and explain it. And she, I don't know if she was in the office or not, but I don't, I, she cowered away. I don't think she would ever face. I don't know if she was in the office or not, but she cowered away. Now, ask yourself this question, Dick Tuck and... Kaya, if she wasn't there, how would it be possible that she cowered away? She didn't know you were going to show up, okay? She looks so much more gigantic compared to him. Like, the side-by-side -side here, like, this is, <laughs> this is just jarring to me. But, like, maybe if you actually wanted to talk to her, you could have, I don't know, tried to make an appointment with her. Now it's AOC. She knows you're a complete fraud and a grifter, so she probably wouldn't have met with you. But to say that she cowered away when she had no clue that you were even at her office is extremely disingenuous and cringeworthy because you're trying to make it seem as if you're some sort of a, a tough person puffing out your chest, but you just look like a fucking moron. Yeah, why the long face, Kaya? Literally, like, <laughs> her face is twice as long as Tucky's. <laughs> Oh my god damn this is what being evil does to you if you look at the evil people like being evil actually physically drains the life from them except for tucky he just always looks confused me or ever have a discussion about it but i as an american citizen i don't oh, a trans flag oh, a trans flag <laughs> like are you triggered like these people are so stupid they're so cringeworthy i swear to god be defamed in front of millions of people so i wanted yes. to confront her oh i don't want to be defamed in front of millions of people but it's okay for me to defame just normal queer teachers in front of millions of people i'm the defamer okay how dare you give me a taste of my own medicine shut the fuck up kaya Rychik. i love how you have to like open this shirt so that way they could see your dumbass slogan of ban tiktok very free speech of you you fucking moron if tiktok were banned then who would you slander how would you find LGBTQ plus people to accuse of being pedophiles if TikTok was banned? She cowered. She what, cowered. What, I mean, what, and thank you for adding details there that I should have added in the intro. She accused you of inspiring violence. She of, literally did. Holy shit. Effectively a criminal act. Yeah, and she is unfortunately protected by legislative privilege. So she is allowed to lie about me in a committee hearing. Um, and not just that, but she's using her position of power to call on big tech to censor people who she disagrees with. That's what she did. Excuse me, you're going to talk about censorship? You literally are trying to get an entire fucking app with millions of users in the United States completely banned. I mean, for any censorship that AOC may or may not have endorsed, um, which I don't agree with that claim, by the way, but for any censorship that you say AOC supported, 
what you're supporting is orders of magnitude worse. You want an entire app banned, completely extinguishing millions of voices in the United States. I mean, the audacity of these people, like they say things that are so hypocritical, like this is why I believe that God is not real, because if God was real, he'd strike these motherfuckers down with lightning like that. They're just so disingenuous, right? Like it's they're so insufferable. I, I can't take it. Hearing and that is really scary. It's really scary. That's and so scary. For trying to face her directly, which is a, a nice thing to do in a social media age. Hi, Ray Chick. Live to TikTok. <laughs> Well, thank you, Dick Tuck. I'm glad that you're acknowledging my bravery here because, um, yeah, it is it is actually very brave to take a camera and go to a you know politician's office knowing that there's a 99.9% .9 chance they're not going to be there and then calling them a coward when I don't get a, a, you know, a meeting with them immediately. So I appreciate you acknowledging my bravery, Dick Tuck. Um, thank you, Tucky. <laughs> I, I really I appreciate the kindness here. Thank you for giving me a platform. Now I need to get back to um, showing you TikToks of uh, teachers who I'm going to call pedophiles. So thank you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> I hope that Tucker Carlson and uh, Chaya Rychik both stub their toes. I hope they stub their toes real hard. I'm just going to put that out there. They both deserve it. I'm going to come. Uh, uh, do not come. 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 Welcome, Welcome to the come, come zone. zone. Uh, uh, come. Uh, come. Uh, come. Uh, come. Come. 